It's not really a town, it's just a community. And um, we have a pretty good Dairy Queen. The subrate recovery is pretty easy to do. It just takes a little manpower. The only reason we hesitated was because Powderly Methodist Church is such a small church. We really couldn't do much without the support of our community. Um, we have five churches that are support for us and each church supplies a meal. Um, each church gives donations. If uh, we have guest speakers come in from those other churches and it really keeps our community grounded and keeps Celebrate Recovery in the forefront of their minds. I am celebrating recovery from an opioid addiction and I was addicted for 20 years and I moved here and I started attending the Celebrate Recovery in Paris and got involved and I really enjoyed it and it kept me, kept me grounded, it kept me from relapse, which happens anyway. But then um, Mark, our pastor, this is my church, and he came to me one day and he said, how can we help you? Because I had gone to treatment. And when I came back from treatment, he said, how can we help you? What, what can we do as a community to, to wrap our arms around you and, and help you through this? And I said, I'll tell you what, um, what would help is if we could start a Celebrate Recovery group right here. The thing about Celebrate Recovery is, um, you know, we're, we're helping people in a way, at a level that is pretty serious. Uh, Jesus Christ gave his life to help other people we're not there yet, <laughs> um, but we're not doing nothing. When we go through the step process with the four books, the first thing we do, we get everybody in the group's phone number and their name. And from the first group I went through, I'm going through it the second time now to help the new ones go through. And, but I made friends that I had nothing in common with, you know, I and mean, we got doctors and we got a car salesmen, different people like that in the group. And I was thinking, you know, I'm a, you know, I'm ex-drug addict and, you know, sold drugs to support my habit. And, but I got their phone numbers and then still, and that's been two years ago when I done that. There's not a week goes by I'm not in contact with those people anytime I need help. And I got a sponsor, you know, when I get to thinking wrong or if there's something bothering me and need to talk about it, I can call him anytime, day or night, and he'll be there. And, and I know I can tell him anything going on with my life and he won't judge me or condemn me, just, just there to help. It's a joy. I look forward to Thursday nights the way I look forward to Sundays, you know, because we worship. It is a form of giving. It is a form of helping. And I need to also be doing that on Fridays and Saturday nights, as well as Mondays and Tuesdays. You know, we have Bible study on Wednesday and then we have church on Sunday. I need to be doing it every day. So we do that on Thursday nights.